What do you think is the biggest biological flaw in humans? We are one of the few animals on the planet that do not make our own ascorbic acid, vitamin C. 99% mammalian life on this planet produces ascorbic acid in their livers. Humans do not. Vitamin C is extremely important for many of our bodily functions and we die if we don't get enough. Knees. Too much use. Bad. Too little. Bad. Perfect use. S still happens. Add the back to that. I didn't even mess mine up in a manly way. Like squatting. Sat in an awkward position playing video games for like 8 hours in 2012. Hasn't been the same since. Compared to other land mammals humans don't have that great of a sense of smell or hearing. If you believe in evolution. Apparently our sinuses were used to elevate our sense of smell. Now they just get clogged and give us pain. The bigger the brain. The smaller the jaw and the face became more flat. Evolution took our sense of smell in exchange of our brain. Allergies. Body, I will make anything to stop this threat, me, you will kill me in the process, body, I said anything. There is no threat if there is nothing to threaten. We eat, drink, breathe, and speak through one hole. Thousands of people die every year by choking. I choke on my saliva sometimes. Fascinating. Babies take forever to learn how to not kill themselves on accident. Also, you have to teach them how to sleep. That's dumb. Periods. Yeah. I get why it happens and why it's necessary. But there are animals that will just reabsorb that blood. Why can't we? It also just doesn't make sense from an evolutionary standpoint. A week out of every month you're just bleeding everywhere. Way back when people were hunting and gathering. That would leave behind blood where you've been and could lead predators straight to you. Bleeding is not an issue for me. It's the pain that comes with it. And the weird appetite. And the mood swings. And the rest of everything that come with having a period. F hormones in general. The fight or flight response activating when I'm trying to order a taco. My body is all run be run. We gotta get out of here but somehow it can't tell that I'm not in danger. Stupid. Listen to your gut. Trust your instincts. I have the instincts of a particularly nervous rodent on a cocktail of coke and amphetamines. My gut is telling me that my dentist is going to reach down my throat and turn me inside out like a sock. I'd rather trust a toddler to rewire my electrics than my own gut instincts. I think our eyes are too fragile. We rely on them so much. But a sharp stick could just easily put them out. I need glasses because my mom says I play too many video games. You should ask her to stop saying that then. We spent about one third of our lives unconscious. Vulnerable to threats and not productive. Sleep is weird. Yea but we can go without sleep if needed and this along with some other skills such as sweating has led to us being able to hunt an animal to death purely by following it till it dies of exhaustion. The way we evolved to walk upright is actually really poorly designed and now we have back pain. I remember an episode of Loiway where he is dealing with back pain and a doctor says. Nature gave us a clothesline and we're using it as a flagpole. Single quote. Fevers? They can go crazy high and kill you when they are supposed to help you. When I had pneumonia my temp was 107 degrees Fahrenheit. It sucked. Sentience seems like a pretty major F up. Plenty of critters get along just fine without a constant series of existential crises or questions like why am I? Why are things? At least other species don't go out and buy expensive cars when they reach their 50s. Maybe they would if we let them. I'm surprised the female body after birth acts like it wasn't meant to happen. I feel like the human body has adapted so much I thought childbirth would have become less painful and I guess you could say damaging to the body. It's wild that about a third of women are actually traumatized by childbirth but it's not really widely discussed. Especially considering literally every human on earth was given birth to by someone. It is not necessarily a flaw but it seems a bit illogical that the rods and cones in our eyes lie behind the nerves that signal what we see to the brain. And we have this blind spot of course. Responding to the last point. That's why we have two eyes. I thought that was so we could see depth. Our teeth aren't very durable. Our teeth don't regenerate like most everything else. That's a huge flaw. Probably how helpless newborn babies are. You see other mammals like deer walking almost immediately after being born. Human babies can't even crawl until after a period of time. That's a feature not a bug. 
If our brains could develop to full adult capacity either very quickly after birth or reach full capacity while maintaining the same head size from birth then no prob. The whole reason, by most experts, as to why we don't develop our cortex to its full capacity until approximately 18 years after gestation is that our heads would be too big to pass through the birth canal. Ouch. Pain. Like. I get the purpose. Hey idiot. Don't touch hot things. But shush t. Couldn't it just be like a quick jolt like a warning signal instead of, remember that time you slept funny. Well now you have neck pain for a week bch. Edit, to clarify. I'm referring to unnecessary pain. Like weather related headaches. Or hitting your funny bone. I fully understand the purpose of pain. I wish we could acknowledge it like, yes body. Thanks for the warning. This one isn't serious. Single quote. We live on a planet whose surface is 71% water. And the oceans thereof hold 97% of all our water. And we can't freaking breathe underwater? Susceptible to cancer and other things that will kill you. Strange how our own body turns against us. Cancer cells are just normal cells but mutated. And they split much faster than normal ones. No builder would put the toy box right next to the toilet. Right. Putting the amusement park next to the toxic waste dump is non-ideal. Eyelashes are supposed to stop things going in your eye but 9 out of 10 times it's a damn eyelash in my eye. Aging. There isn't actually a reason for us to die in the same way we have biological reasons for hitting puberty. All aging really boils down to is an accumulation of flaws and telomeres wearing down. It's a flaw made of smaller flaws. Came here to say this. Aging is an unexplainable flaw in the code. The code is updated with each new generation. We are iPhone 4s in planned obsolescence. Our teeth f king suck. There is no reason for them to have nerves or be able to feel pain. But instead we have tooth pain. Which is probably some of the worst pain possible for a human to experience. And it happens because you bit into an apple wrong and broke a tooth. There is all the reason for teeth to have nerves. Before medicine. If you break a tooth your chances at survival just dropped. We're lucky to eat processed foods. But our ancestors have navigate past sinew and bone. N-A-H-H-F teeth pain. Not actually being able to grow 2 inches in 2 weeks like the ad says. We have an appetite as if we don't know when our next meal will be. It made sense when we were cavemen. But nowadays it's one of our biggest detriments. On top of that. I was told the reason why fatty and sugary foods are craved so much is that they are extremely important for survival but also extremely rare in nature so when pure bodies get the chance it tries to stockpile as much as it can. Not being able to unhinge our mouth like snakes. Some glitched people are able to do that. But it'll probably be patched in the next update. R. Outside. Susceptibility to dementia. Again. Evolution doesn't care what happens to you after you stop reproducing. Pregnancy and childbirth. Periods in general. The V and AS are less than 1 inch apart. I can find my AS but I still don't know where my V is. I don't think everyone has a V. Food pipe and breathing pipe are the same. Waste pipes and SX pipes are the same. For P havers yaw. You guys S out of your DCKS? We're hardwired to be scared of people outside of our group. New situations. To respond to big men personalities. And to resist change in the face of evidence. We are not the only mammals that do that. Chimps behave in a similar manner. Only on a smaller scale. If you research a little their lives is like a game of thrones of the jungle. It annoys me that we have to constantly drink. Eat. And eject both those things. Also sleeping so long seems odd. I agree with the eating and drinking part but I have insomnia and that s sucks lmao. Every today's flaw of the body was the big advantage yesterday. But today I think we should ease this lock on our brains, laziness. Because it's more destructive for life than helpful. And also. The best answer is that we age and die eventually. The biggest flaw. I disagree with you there. We are naturally disposed to saving energy unless it's for something important. Wasting energy on unimportant things is bad for survival. I am only talking about a little ease on it. To remove some moments from life like when you don't want to do some mandatory stuff. Like standing up from bed or working. And I have seen many lives literally destroyed just because people don't want to study and work. Because of laziness. 
the heart we only have one and when it fails we suffer and die we need redundancy in our circulatory system generally and at least two hearts but it's mind-blowing how it works for most of us 70 plus years without fail just small fail during night would cause death and it doesn't happen our brain capable of achieving marvelous feats and then we go watch the neighborhood dog chase their tail for 10 minutes i mean as long as we're not the ones chasing our tails putting the family fun area right next to the waste extraction zone wouldn't it be excretion extraction makes me think something or someone is going in to get it ingrown toenails smart enough to build spears so ooga booga can stab tiger but ooga booga so smart that ooga booga commits cliff jump off because sad unhealthy love for grilled cheese sauce about to eat a second serving and i'm not even hungry